Hello everyone, I am Sammy, aka Automicdicted and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about Otome games, so if you like romance visual novels, consider subscribing for more content. Today I'm here to list some of the fan translations available for Otome games. All of the translations are made by the fans for the fans. You can find the links to the translations mentioned in this video in the description box below. For Diabolic Lovers, there is a patch available for the first game on the PS Vita. Beware that to make it work, you will need a jailbroken PlayStation Vita and a copy of the original game in Japanese. But what is the game about? The main heroine, Yui Komori, is just a normal teenage girl in high school until her father, a priest, travels overseas for work. As a result, Yui is sent to a new town and arrives alone at a mansion, which will be her new home. Nobody greets her. However, the door swings open on its own accord. Yui finds a handsome young man sleeping with no heartbeat on a couch. To her shock, he awakens, and five other young men gradually appear. Yui discovers that all six of them are brothers, but by different mothers. And that they were all vampires from the very beginning. Thus far, seven games have been released. All of them are available for PlayStation Vita, while the first two games and Chaos Lineage are available for the Nintendo Switch. I do not own a Vita, so I simply use the translation available on Tumblr for the first two games and Chaos Lineage that are available on Switch. I played the games while looking at the translations. I thought it was going to be annoying and troublesome, but once I got used to it, it wasn't too bad at all. Just like with Diabolic Lovers, in order to play Brothers Conflict Precious Baby, you will need a jailbreak PlayStation Vita and a copy of the original game in Japanese. But what is the game about? Emma Hinata, or later known as Emma Hasahina, is the daughter of the famous expat Rintaro Hinata. One day, Emma finds out that her dad is going to remarry a successful clothing maker named Miwa Asahina. Rather than bothering them, she decides to move into the Sarai's residence complex that is owned by Miwa. From there, she discovers that she has 13 stepbrothers! As time moves on, her stepbrothers develop feelings for her and compete in ways to win her heart, when all Emma wants is to have a loving family. Can she make all of her 13 stepbrothers happy, or will she only pick one of them? Emma has a pet squirrel named Julie that helps her when times are tough, that only she and her new brother Louis can understand. She is faced with many challenges like finding out she is adopted and having to apply to college. This one is available for PC and it's not necessary to own a copy of the original game. Alice Little is an insecure girl who is jealous of her sister's beauty and grace. After a series of events, Peter White throws Alice into a hole that appears in a yard and jumps in after her. When they land in a strange open area, Peter starts confessing his undying love for her. He tells her to drink some medicine, but she refuses, so he simply pours the liquid into his mouth and then kisses her, forcing her to drink it. It is later revealed that this liquid is some kind of way to prevent her from going home. Alice learns that she is in Wonderland, and the only way she might be able to return to her world is to interact and spend time with the strange people in Wonderland. In order to play this patch, you will need a jailbreak PlayStation Vita and a copy of the original game to apply the patch to. This story is a spin-off work of Hakuoki, the fluttering Sakura, Spring, a season of blessing for new encounters. Shizuru Yukimura knocks on the gates of a private academy, which has always been a boys' school. However, as of this year, Haku Academy opens its gate to co-education, and Shizuru is the only female student enrolled. Thus begins her first year. This game is available for PC, but what is the story about? The Kingdom of Webling is ruled by the cat people, but the rebellious wolf people have been spreading disease and terrorizing the citizens. The cats are hunting down the last of the wolf survivors to destroy their race. But is that really the whole story to the wolves? One day, Fiona, a sickly young girl, is to visit the world outside her tower for the first time in her 16th birthday party. But before it takes place, she's kidnapped by one of the wolf people and her adventure begins. This game is also available for PC. What is the story about? In the corner of a certain village where Hayakashian humans coexist, there is a shop that serves meal for Hayakashi. The name of this eatery is Pompon Kori. In that store, both Hayakashian humans visit seeking to have a delicious meal. The shop owner is a Hyoko, a mythological fox spirit, taking on a human form. Everybody can be happy if they can have a delicious meal. That was the Hyoko's creed. 
the Yoka and its soon-to-be seven-year-old son continue to cook delicious meals to this very day. One day, as the hot summer ended and a harvest of human approached, a long girl enters the Yoko store. From that moment onwards, the story begins. The beginning of a heartwarming story involving Hayakashi, humans, and delicious meals starts here. This game is available for PC, but to play it, you will need a DS emulator. What is the story about? The player is in the role of Yuki Cross at Cross Academy. You are able to date six of the male vampire characters, plus a secret seventh character. The project has been dropped, but there are still translations available on Tumblr. You can play the game while looking at the translations. The heroine, Yui Kusanagi, is the daughter of a Shinto shrine. She discovers a mysterious sword, which transports her to a different world where she meets the Greek god Zeus. He invites her to attend a school in a separate world that he created. Zeus intends to teach the meaning of love to the various young divine beings who also attend the school in an attempt to reverse the weakening bond between humans and the gods. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope this video was useful for you. As always, if you have requests for a new video, please let me know in the comments. See you soon!